was working at the comedy store, and Bill came up one afternoon, a pale, bad haircut, had a suitcase with him, he said, I'm here to be a comic. Um, Bill Hicks was a, 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 a scabrous um, and provocative um, and deep thinking comedian who um, came over from the US and um, tore up the UK in 91 and 92. Quite often he's referred to as the comedian's comedian and he's considered to have influenced stand-up comedy um, of almost all of the stand-ups working today over the last 20 years. First of all, this needs to be said. There never was a war. How can you say that, Bill? Well. A war is when two armies are fighting. <laughs> so you see, right there, I think <laughs> we can all agree. Bill was always himself, and that's a larger version of who the guy was. But that's, I think, and that's why he's remained so timeless, is people draw inspiration from that. I think that Bill was just innately born with that kind of questioning, probing kind of mind. Um, and that's the kind of mind that reacts against being told what to do. Here's someone who... who absolutely believes in what they're saying and you know they can't be bought or compromised. He never drunk before and the bitterness came out for the first time. It just came pouring out. He was literally crawling around the stage with a full house of 200 people watching him. <laughs> but he was still funny. People were still laughing the whole time. You know, we interviewed the 10 people that knew Bill best and had, you know, two weeks of just the most vivid recollections pouring out of people's minds. The on-stage performer is not the same as the person off stage, and I think you can learn a lot about, um, you know, who he was as a performer from what he was like as a person. Being on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles at the world-famous comedy store where people like Robin Williams and Richard Pryor and Billy Crystal also performed, and then Bill Hicks, that was the mecca for comedy. And Bill got his name up there. Okay, there's one for the books right there, you know. He was where he wanted to be, and that was pretty clear.